Your engineering team was sent to restore emergency broadcast capacities. But the team has gone silent. After a group of Rikers attacked the broadcast center. Your job is to secure the station and rescue the hostages. But that may be easier said than done. And for that reason we've made this incursion guide. We'll divide it into five phases. The lobby, the Starbreak talent show studio, the news broadcast studio, the diner set studio and the saloon set studio. <clears throat> if you're only looking for a particular face, you can skip ahead by clicking on the face you want to see. For every face, we'll take a look at the hostiles, exotic enemies, objectives and course to the strategy to complete these objectives. Most of the loadout recommendations are best run with particular builds. We will refer to these in the description. Your first objective is reaching the broadcast center. Before even reaching it, you are opposed by multiple groups of Rikers. These are pretty easy to take on. Upon reaching the broadcast center, you need to secure the lobby and access the security system. This part shouldn't be a problem. From this point, you have three options on how you want to continue. You can pick between the three studios. The Starbreak Talent Show Studio, Broadcast Studio, and Corridor, and the Diner Studio. We'll start with the first studio, the Starbreak Talent Show. Open the door and secure the corridor towards the stage. This is relatively straightforward. Before opening the second door, we recommend you and your team to equip two mobile covers with an extension mod, one or two support stations with preferably all three mods or at least the life support mod, one sniper, three high damage weapons, two tactical links, two recover links, and optional you could run two four piece final mesh gear sets and multiple light machine guns. It is of course possible to do it without these recommendations, but they make it a lava cup if you equip them. When entering the room you can see four chairs and tables, two on the left and two on the right. The floor around the table is covered in water, except for the parts on the of the floor of the tables. These are slightly elevated. This is where you want to place your mobile covers. One on the left and one on the right. Behind that you want to place your support station. The reason you want to do this is because approximately every 30 seconds the water on the floor will be electrocuted. This will destroy your skills and damage you if your, you or your skills are in the water. After securing this stage, Curveball will come out. The main objective is to kill him. But this isn't that simple. Since he is a grenadier, he will curveball at you, forcing you out of cover. The four-piece final measure can be quite useful here, since it can defuse grenades every eight seconds. This means you don't have to go out of cover to dodge the grenades. Also, for approximately every 15% of damage you deal with curveball, a heavy will rush to kill the hostage within a certain period of time. The timer starts at 25 seconds, but it decreases for every successive heavy you encounter. When a heavy comes out, call it out to your team members, because everybody needs to shoot it. Since reloading can take a lot of your precious time, life machine guns come in useful here. With the large magazines. In doubt that you can't kill the heavy, you want to activate your tactical link. But with the right communications, this isn't necessary. Besides this, snipers will shoot down from the balconies on your left and right. These can deal lethal damage, so it's useful for one person in the team to focus them. Just rinse repeat until you kill Curveball. Once you've cleared out the remaining Rikers, you will need to collect the key, free the hostage and return to the lobby. Let's move on to the second studio, the news broadcast studio. The first objective when opening the door is to pick up the circuit breaker and carry it towards the fuse box. But at each corner of the corridor are automated turrets. To prevent from killing the carrier, we recommend that the other three members of the team equip ballistic shields. Walk in front of the carrier to protect him or her from the damage. Before heading into the studio, we recommend to switch out some skills. They are similar to the ones from the first studio. Two mobile covers with an extension mod, one support station, preferably with all the three mods, the door, or two snipers. The rest is up to you. 
Once you open the door, place the mobile cover to the left and the right of the door with the support station behind you. Your job is to protect the hostage in the middle, underneath the desk. Every so often a rusher comes through the door on the left or the right. When this happens, make sure to focus fire on him and kill him before the timer runs out. Same as with the heavies. Towards the end, Checkers will reveal himself above the screen. This is where the snipers come in. Make sure to snipe him before he snipes you. After killing him, free the hostage and return to the lobby. And the third studio is the diner set. This one is upstairs. Before entering, you'll once again want to change up your loadout. We recommend one, preferable two flame turrets. Once again, a support station with all mods, high damage weapons, one sniper, and two or three tactical links. The first corridor you'll come up against two waves with around 15 rushers and two heavies. Deploy the flame turrets and use the tactical link if needed to secure the corridor. When entering the studio, you have to cross the set and disarm the explosive that's rigged on the hostage room before the 60 second timer is done. After that, prevent the Rikers from arming the explosives. Place your fire turrets around the explosive facing different ways to burn and slow down the Rikers. In the meantime, Pigstick will shoot down on you from the balconies surrounding the set. Every so often he switches positions and gets to another angle. It's best to have one sniper focus fire on him and make sure to deplete his armor. When his armor is gone, he will rush the explosives one last time in an attempt to arm it. At this point, you want everyone on your team to focus fire on him. Possibly use the tactical link and kill him and the remaining Rikers. When all of this has been done, you can free the hostages and return to the lobby one last time. You're probably glad you've made it this far, but wait. There's more. After returning to the lobby, take the door on the left towards Studio 4, the Western Saloon set. Before entering, you want to switch out some of your skills one last time. Three members of the team should be running a ballistic shield, preferably with the reactive targeting mod. And next to that, you want one dedicated healer with the support station, a first aid, defibrillator, the defibrillator mod. When you're ready, enter the set. The main objective is to protect the hostages. One is in the front, one is in the middle, and one is in the back. All the way in the front is Bobcat on a minigun. At three moments he will respectively try to shoot one, two, and all three hostages. Before starting, it's smart to assign all three of the team members that have ballistic shield equipped to a hostage, to minimize the risk of failure. On the ground, before the hostages are yellow markers to indicate where to stand when the minigun starts firing on your hostage. At the point that the minigun is firing you want to stand between your hostage and, and block the bullets with your shield. After Bobcat's attempts fail, one of you needs to activate the pyrotechnic to blow up the minigun, while the other shield him to prevent the minigun from shooting you. After Bobcat's attempt, the pyrotechnics will show up on the left, after the second time on the right, and after the third time, the final time, in the middle. The tactic for this remains the same. Once you have activated the pyrotechnics on the left and blown up the minigun, Jackalope, a rusher, will try to kill you alongside his enemies. Damage him to the point where he's almost dead, but before killing him, finish the remaining NPCs. Once you've done that, quickly kill Jackalope to prevent more NPCs from spawning. Then return to the hostages to prevent Bobcat's second attempt killing them. After successfully protecting the hostages with your ballistic shield, activate the pyrotechnics on the right, similar to the first time. Done that, the next rusher, Bighorn, will show and he will try to take you down. The strategy remains similar to the one with Jackalope. Once you've killed Bighorn, take positions and protect the hostages one last time. When successfully activating the pyrotechnics in the middle to draw out Bobcat, 
When Bobcat comes out, he will rush you and attempt to kill you. All that's left to do is finish him, but watch out for his survivor link. When he, when he turns blue, your bullets will do next to no damage. At this point, you're better off focusing the NPCs around him and have one team member check when his survivor link is down. When you finally have killed him, rescued the hostages and you've finished the stolen signal incursion. If you have done all that, you will be rewarded with an exotic cache, one weapon and eight high-end or gear set pieces. Next to the 374 or 378 Phoenix credits and 445,000 Division credits. Whew. We want to thank you for watching. Ratings, good or bad, help us out a lot. Any questions that you have can be asked in the comment section and we'll make sure to answer it. Now grab some buddies and start ruining the Riker's day.